Okay, this video is on building your own sand spikes. If you're just starting out learning how to be a surf fisherman, the first thing you're going to need to do is get some sand spikes, a way to hold those surf rods into the sand. And there are many solutions out there that are pretty inexpensive and they don't work very well. And in my opinion, it's a waste of money to get these. Usually they're a cheap plastic uh, and they require you use a, a mallet to drive them into the sand and there's no need to use a mallet. You'll see that later in the video when I demonstrate one of the sand spikes we're going to build. But there's all sorts of different products out there that seem really inexpensive and they are, you know, you, you get what you pay for. They're, they're angle iron that are probably three quarter inch angle iron at best and you're relying on these things not to plow over in the sand when that 50 pound shark grabs your line and you forgot to set your drag a little light when you put your rod in the holder so what we're going to do is give you a total list on what you're going to need to get this done it's not going to be cheap you know you're going to spend 50 dollars more at least on uh, building it yourself but it'll be way better it'll last you a lifetime it'll last your kids a lifetime it's it's the only way to go if you're going to keep surf fishing the rest of your life you're going to have to uh, get some uh, schedule 40 pvc you may find it easier to buy five foot sections that's up to you but this is a total list of what you need your biggest cost is going to be your aluminum angle iron it has to be one eighth of an inch thick do not get the 16th of an inch thick. It's not worth it. And there again, you may find it's cheaper to get one eight foot piece and a single four foot piece versus three four foot pieces of inch and a half. So uh, that's enough said on saving money on the angle iron. You're going to need to buy some duct tape. Don't go cheap on that either. Get the Gorilla duct tape, get the white in color. It helps reflect the sun a little better and it's well worth the extra cost. You'll use it for other projects. Gonna need some bolts, washers. I like using nylon nuts and some sandpaper. So total cost about $89. And don't be afraid to rewind the video if you need to look at the items again. And as far as tools, Hacksaw, Stanley knife, electric drill, quarter inch bit, or even a little bigger, maybe a, a uh, 5 16 a metal file, a crescent wrench, pliers, 80 grit sandpaper, a dowel if you have it. If you don't, no big deal. Just wrap some sandpaper around a brew handle and tape it a little bit and use that. And we'll talk about that later too. So let's go ahead and look at the... Uh, the dimensions here we need to uh, cut three sections of 15 and a half inch PVC if we're making three of those spikes and we're also going to have to cut three pieces of aluminum angle at 43 and a half inches in length you're going to have to cut the end of that angle at at least a 45 degree angle and make sure anytime you're cutting this angle you use your your file to round off the edges so nobody gets hurt. You know, the point doesn't have to be that sharp. It's going to get dull from years of use anyways. But make sure you use that file to smooth off your edges. The other thing you want to make sure you do when you cut your PVC with a, a hacksaw, after you're done, you're going to want to take a Stanley knife to the inside of the top of this and just start going around in circles and reaming it so it's a nice tapered edge on the inside and then take that dowel or broomstick with the 80 grit and start reaming it back and forth until you've got a nice smooth tapered edge if you don't do that the sharpness uh, the sharpness of this pvc will definitely mess up your expensive surf rod or its handle so that's an important step don't miss that and everything else is 
self-explanatory. You do want a little bit of a gap here. You know, put that PVC at least an inch above the angle iron. That way, when you put your hand on top and go to rock this sand spike into the sand, it's not going to, uh, you know, hurt you by having your hand hit that, hit that angle iron. And yes, I did say you're going to rock that sand spike into the sand. No need for a rubber mallet anymore. You can toss it. And I'll give you a demo video at the end of this to show you how easy these things go into the beach. So there's all your specs. And if you uh, want to see a finished product, here is a, a finished product here. And it's much more durable than anything you're going to get in a store. The only bolt is the single bolt there that goes all the way through. And you're going to use the duct tape uh, maybe three or four inches down. Wrap it around about three times uh, when you're done. And we talked about reaming out the inside. The reason you don't want to try to attach anything at the top is it's just going to mess up your surf rod's handle. So you want it to be a smooth shot all the way in and the butt will stop here on that bolt. So that, uh, that does it for that. The only thing we need to do now is show you what uh, you need to do to get these things into the beach once they're built. And like I said, don't let the price scare you off. You are going to have one big fish grab your pole and try to plow that sand spike over in the sand if you buy the cheap ones because let's face it you know, you know if you use a rubber mallet to put your sand spikes in they're probably going in a foot at best and they're too small diameter of a round tube if they use round tubes or if they're using the angle iron they're probably three quarter inch angle iron so Let's end this here, and I will add a demo video at the end showing you how to use that new sand spike you created. Okay, here we are at the beach. We're going to demo our sand spikes we made. I wanted to show you how we took our Stanley knife, or if you have a Dremel, you want to get rid of that harsh edge and uh, carve it out and take some sandpaper. That way it doesn't damage your pull. Now let's do a demo of actually putting the sand spike into the sand. Always remember that your angle iron is going to be towards the ocean. You want to try to get uh, somewhere about 10 or 15 degrees from straight up. And there you have it. It's that easy. You know, like I say, you don't want it straight up in the air, but uh, it's over a foot in the sand and no more using your mallet. Enjoy your new sand spikes you just made. See you next video.